Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to start with forensic entomology. This is the part one video of that. So in this video, I'll be discussing about what forensic entomology is, role of forensic entomologist, forensically relevant insects, life cycle of the insect and the factors affecting it also if you want this ppt then you can go check out my website i've uploaded this ppt over there the link for my website is given in the description box now let's get started first the definition forensic entomology is a branch of science which deals with study of insects and other arthropods found in dead bodies that can shed light on time since death the length of body's exposure and whether the body was moved forensic simply means application of different scientific methods in order to solve a criminal case right and entomology is the study of insects so forensic entomology together means that application of this knowledge that is the study of insects in order to solve certain criminal cases right so forensic entomology is a branch of science that is going to deal with insects and other arthropods that are found in the dead bodies and on the basis of that we can determine the time since death the length of body's exposure and whether or not the body was moved so now let's talk about the role of forensic entomologist first role can be identification of insects at various stage of their life cycle so on the basis of what stage is the insect is in their life cycle we can determine the time since death so the role of a forensic entomologist is to identify the stage of that life then another role is collection and preservation of the of the insects as an evidence then comes determining now we have to determine the estimate for the post-mortem interval or pmi that is the time between death and the discovery of the body so first we are going to they are going to identify it then they are going to collect it and then they are going to determine the post-mortem interval then the last role that comes up is testifying in the court explaining that how that particular insect is related Related to the crime scene is related to the dead body that was found at the crime scene. Now, how does the forensic entomologist determine this most important thing that is the post-mortem interval? So, the forensic entomologist can use a number of different techniques including species succession, larval length, larval weight and a more technical method accumulated degree R technique which can be very precise if necessary data is available. So a forensic entomologist is going to study all these aspects and then they determine the post-mortem interval like for example what is the weight of the larva because uh, in the life cycle of any insect the different stages like there is egg stage larva stage pupa stage you know and there is particular time interval for that for example after this many hours eggs will be formed after this many hours um, larva will be there then pupa will be there then the final insect will be there so on the basis of that the stage that we are going that we are seeing we can determine the time so that's how forensic entomologists are going to determine the time since death also i'm discussing this entire life cycle in the later parts of this video so stay with me then um, let's talk about this is important the question has been asked from here last to last year the forensically relevant insects what are all the insects names that are um, relevant or important with respect to forensic science so entomologists can help forensic pathologists in determining time of death by looking at the insects that are feeding on and around the body so the entomologists are going to look at the body at the dead body and they're going to see what all kinds of insects are found there so the first most common insect is flies they are the first one to get attracted towards the dead body now carrion flies includes first is califoridae also known as blow flies then comes sarcophagidae also known as flesh flies and muskidae also known as 
house flies and they belong to the order diptera the question was asked from there last to last year you can check out the paper also i think i don't remember it exactly but any of these were given and um, we were supposed to tell which order they belong to so the answer was diptera now usually we get to see three types of flies that is common house fly its scientific name is musca domestica then green bottle fly common name is lucilia sericata and blue bottle fly scientific name califora vomitoria these are the most widespread and accurate insects for determining time of death then another insect is going to be beetles they are often found on old cadavers or in dry conditions we get to see beetles we can determine that the cadaver is old beetles include sylphidae also known as carrion beetles staphylinidae also known as rove beetles and dermestids also known as carpet beetles and they belong to the order coleoptera next comes ants they are generally they these generally consume smaller cadavers and they belong to the order hymenoptera all these insects are going to belong all these are belong to the class insecta of the phylum arthropoda so these were some of the forensically relevant insects or forensically important insects that we get to see now let's talk about how the forensic entomologists are going to determine the time since death so that is going to depend upon the life cycle of the insects and the most common uh, insect is the blow fly so we are going to discuss that over here so first the adult flies they are going to lay their eggs on the carcass or the dead body especially at the wounded areas or around the opening of the body like for example nose eyes ears anus etc because these are the exposed portions so um the adult fly is going to lay its eggs on the dead body then eggs are going to hatch into larva larva of blow fly is also known as maggots and this is going to take take place in 12 to 24 hours so we have got our larval stage over here now the larva is going to continue to grow by feeding on the corpse and molt that is the they are going to shed their exoskeleton as they pass through the various insta stages now there are three insta stages first insta stage second insta stage and third insta stage so this particular one is first insta stage in the first insta stage the larva is 5 mm long and this happens after 1.8 days then comes the second insta stage and this stage is in this stage larva is 10 mm long and this happens after 2.5 days and then comes the third insta stage in which the larva is 14 to 16 mm long and this is happening after 4 to 5 days after that um once this stage is over the larva is 17 mm long and once it gets satiated it develops into the next stage that is known as pupa after burrowing into the soil then lastly we get to see adult flies so adult flies emerge from the pupa cases after 6 to 8 days so you see here we have timelines for each and every stage and on the basis of that like for example on the corpse we are seeing um larva that is 14 to 16 mm long so easily we can determine that okay 4 to 5 days the death must have occurred 4 to 5 days ago right so um this is how the forensic entomologists are going to determine the time since death 
then let's talk about a few factors that affect the growth of these insects first is temperature higher the temperature faster the insect growth and faster they are going to develop into adult then on the basis of food quality the kind of food they are getting if it is rich nutritious food then it is going to help larva grow faster then oxygen levels increasing oxygen levels increases the growth rate of insects day length or season many insects coordinate their developmental cycles with the season so season is also going to affect so temperature food quality oxygen level uh, season these are all the factors that are going to affect the growth rate of insects so this was all for this video this is the part one video few topics are left in this topic that will be discussed in the upcoming videos i hope you found this video to be useful if yes then please like this video share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel also hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you for watching